Shakes like the waves in a baseline boom. Well, howdy, Rick. Why well, I press the wrong button? Full cam, I want it. Hello, you want it all on my face. You're at work, you can't stay long, unfortunately. No, that's fine, that is fine. Are you in, what, are you in for the night shift? Uh, it's been a very long time since I did night shifts. Hoo hoo. Uh, <clears throat> I was mucking about just now, and I don't know, maybe I'll talk about it later, but I have found the way to separate music from everything else so that the videos on demands don't get muted if you play copyright music. So I could potentially play copywritten music to talk over, but what I'd probably end up doing is singing along badly. So I decided against it. Also, then, when I export to YouTube, Kind of silence, aren't you? 
Oh, and shall we play a video game? Shall we play a video game? That is what we're here for, after all. So let's stop playing music. And instead, continue with the tunes from Jenny Leclou, Detective Who. Late shift, 2 till 11. Not as bad as the night shift. Fair enough. What is it that you do, Rick, that is still shift work? So we did the thing. We got everything from the thing, didn't we? So we leave the thing. that way. Oh yeah, that's it. There's a whole, a whole bunch of ivy to walk on. It's a good thing we're a small child. Oh yeah, that's what we want to see. The ghosts of miners. I forgot about them. Jenny saw the newly fallen rocks, and finally made the connection. All dead. All my fault. The accident in the mines was caused by Caesar's machine. All those men died because of his experiment. And the Council of Three covered it up. Oh, the bastards. Um, no climbing that thing then. Oh wait, I can grab it and drag it. Come on, you gonna let me, uh... Maybe I need to push it in a bit more. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Is this the way I came in? Hey, Kira, how are we doing? Yeah, push the boulder with the help of all the ghosts. Thanks, ghosty boys. How are you this fine Friday, Kira? Hey, don't you just love breaking your neck? Okay, probably eat, but that means deciding what. Have you got a ray coming to you this evening? Maybe a ray can help with all that. Oh, pick up a paper. Memo to all workers. Article 1, pay increase. Congratulations, a raise of 0.6%. Has been approved with immediate effect. In addition, all workers are permitted one additional toilet break per day. Article 2. Absence. Until further notice, all requests for a leave of absence will be denied and all prior allowances rescinded. This critical produ time production levels must be maintained. <laughs> Article 3. Research and Development. Do not disturb the white coats. Their job is to keep you safe. 
do not interrupt their work. Yeah, fine. Article 4. No access areas. You will have noticed new signs. These are for your own safety. Anyone caught trespassing will be removed and detained by police. Fair enough. Article 5. Confidentiality agreement. You have now signed the agreement. Any breach will be dealt with severely. Your cooperation is appreciated. The work you do here will be remembered. <laughs> Bet it won't be. Oh, unless of a zoom. Are there any clues or anything? I mean, aside from that symbol looking a little bit like one of the three. All right, now. Oh, of course, Ray went to that big, that there London, didn't they? So they're on the way. Oh, oh no. Kira's, Kira's all on her own some. I'll tell you what, while you try and decide, here's a cat. Hi. I reposition the camera to try and get his face on his new favourite sitting spot. Look at him. Yes. You alright? Look at the camera. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, Look at chin switch. He only wants the one thing, and you all know what it is. Boop. Boop. A boop, the snoot. Oh, there we go. What is this trickery human? It's called booping a snoot. Largest crystals I've ever seen. They must be worth a fortune. Yes, Jamie, it is a big one. But this can't be Crystal Cavern. It's a dead end. Uh oh. Hunting for clues. Hunting for clues. It's gonna be a fucking sticker, isn't it? Or a. Uh... Ah. Or a gallery item. Of course it's a gallery item. Alright. So we're going to maze. That's it. We're meant to be going to the Crystal Cavern. Where Cindy was gonna. Oh. There's another scrap of postcard. And also another dead end. Hello, you. Wait, is this where I came in? Starting to get a little bit lost now. Right, I, th I think this is where I came in, right?
Yes, yeah, so that way, that way up to the uh, to the thing. Oh, hello. We got the weird. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, number one. We've got a radio transmitter and another scrap of postcard. But let's have a look at Is the Is this range. what the compass was pointing to? It's a transmitter. And it's operational. This is clearly Zazer technology. Is it part of another Zazer sphere? Zazer. Well, there we go. We found another... Uh, Uh, so I think this is where okay yeah cool So not at that. Let's keep going right here. What was, what was the thing? Oh yeah, that was just that. Past all the spooky dead boys. Ah. To the left, squatting grounds. To the right, crystal cavern. That's where I meant to be squatting going. Squatting grounds. Does that mean? Yes, it did. Gross. Ew. Safe area, huh? Okay, could go down. I love it when you end up uh, straight on it, even if it is just gallery item. Definitely going down. Uh oh. Oh, great. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Th there's nothing there. It's just your imagination, Jenny. Good detective fears nothing. Except for maybe the ghosts. Maybe you should fear the ghosts. And the soundtrack. Fear the soundtrack. <laughs> Susie! Damn it, Susie! You scared the life out of me! What do you want? I just saw the cutest little frog! Susie! Are you kidding me? I know, right? He's got the cutest little bug eyes. <laughs> I just want to take him home with me. Susie! How's everything going down there? The truth was, Jenny was fit to burst with all the new information she had discovered. But could she trust any of it with Susie Glatz? Mmm. Go hold back. I'm on my way to Crystal Cavern. Please be careful, Jenny. It's not safe down there. I'd be a lot safer if you stopped distracting me every five minutes. Good luck, Jenny. Do I regret that? Yeah, maybe.
I don't know. I mean... Oh, hey, we got a sticker. Nice. Susie seems smart and, you know, is rebelling against her parents. But also... Um... Oh, we'll look for the weak bits, aren't we? Bum, 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 bum. But also, she's a Glatz, and the Glatz family might be the ones to worry about. Where is it? There it is. I'm wondering what if I went the other way. Must explore everything. Don't want to trigger a story until we've explored everything. What happens if I go right? There's an elevator. Okay. We'll go down afterwards. Let, let's see. Gonna try and cook a thing. Or I could luck here. <laughs> Maybe just get a thing that goes in the oven for 40 minutes. Why does this look exactly like where we came from, though? Because it is where we came from. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you put something in the oven for 40 minutes? Don't know. Now we're going to go there. And that just loops us back around there. Spooky ghosts, fine, it's fine. This is dead end. But yeah, breaking through that barricade takes us, loops us back around to where we were, which is nice. So let's take the elevator and go down. Not that way then. Get a bit of broken neck sound that way. Right, ladder. All right, ghost lads. Safety inspection report. Who are they trying to fool? Summary of findings. Contaminant levels. Acceptable. Seismic activity. Moderate. Structural integrity. Within safe margins. Flood risk. None. Horseshit. Last week's fire was contained and traced to an errant cigarette. As a result, we have no choice but to search all personnel at the beginning and end of each shift. Prohibited items will be confiscated and paid docked. 
Uh, surveyors finished an investigation to determine the site sound and safe for work. Small tremors should be expected as we continue to excavate the new deposit in Crystal Cavern. There's no risk to your personal safety. In the unlikely event of roof or groundfall, designated safe areas have been clearly marked. Please familiarise yourself with their locations. The thing is, I saw some of those safe areas. They looked caved in. Hey, look, we found a gallery up. Is there anything else? There's no clues or anything here. Dickers and gallery. Get off my knee! You are a fucking prick! I'll get out. He's been doing this to my knees far too fucking much. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stretch and. Whoops. Hello, Kathy. How you doing? We are going deeper down the mines. You haven't missed that much, really. Literally just exploring and ghosts and barricades. Hopefully, what we've just done is a uh, breakthrough. A shortcut to a loop. Ooh, big shiny crystals now. Don't even need our torch anymore. Yes, hello. Yes, you are adorable, but you're also a pest. Look at that. This Crystal is underground. Cavern. It's beautiful. Immensely wide, unfathomably deep. Crossing the chasm would be Jenny's most challenging obstacle yet. Well, at least I'm getting over my fear of heights. Yes, hi. What? Why are you? Right. I'm gonna snatch ya. I'm gonna cuddle ya. I'm gonna hold ya. Look at it. That, there you go. I knew it wouldn't. Right, okay, fine. Hugs under protest, yes. Look at him, though. Look at him. Huh? Get on camera. Look, hi. Not eyelash, hi. Hi. Hugs with Orko are always under protest. I mean, the hugs with Snarf are usually under protest as well. What? Honestly, you could sit there and I could fuss you? I mean, I know what you're thinking. You're like Daddy sitting at the computer, talking to himself again. It must mean... What? Ah, oh, you silly sausage. You're a silly sausage. Playing a video game, Walker. Uh, <clears throat> yes, Jenny got a trench. Oh, wait, wait. Orko, aren't you lucky? Aren't you lucky that Kathy is a soft shit? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho. Can't resist. I know. I know. It's it's hard. He is so. He is like cute and adorable, even when he's a murdering bastard. Easy with the paws. Ready? He is trying to ram his face inside my fist. Oh, I will, I will tell you about the murdering in a second. Let me get the cam right. Snarf! Snarf, snarf! 
I don't think Snarf is going to come. So, yesterday morning, I think. Just realised my key light's all fucked up. That's better. Yeah, yesterday morning, I wake up kind of early and I think, all right, this, I'm going to get up kind of early. I'm going to watch some wrestling, start my work fairly early, try and get some stuff done. I'm doing some miserable, boring stuff at the moment. I get up and I stroll over to the bathroom and I'm like, why are those two hanging around in the bathroom? Like, oh, God, there's a fucking... There's a live sparrow in my bathroom. That I bet this dickhead here, that one right there, yes you, I bet he dragged it in. And Snarf was just like, ooh. But they didn't really know enough to like actually murder it or anything. So I had to, um, yeah, I'm talking about you. I am talking about you. Uh, <clears throat> so I ended up like throwing a tea towel over it and then scooping it up so it's not going to like, you know, flap about everywhere. Uh, and walked down to the bottom of the road. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, walked walk to the bottom of the road in me slippers um, and. Uh, let it go in the cemetery and hoped it would be all right. Oh, I, I don't think they. I don't know. Maybe I left it there lame for a fox to kill. I haven't got it in my heart to break its neck. I might break your fucking neck one day, you little shit. <laughs> yes, you. I'm talking about you, you dickhead. Yes, cats have a hunt and a hunger instinct. So if they're not hungry, they'll just play with it. Yeah. Like, yeah, the the times where they had live birds and stuff, and I've just been like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna d take you down the cemetery and dump you in there and hopefully do something. Yeah, a more, but I mean, there was one time, was it a pig? Was it a pigeon you brought in? Was it brought in a pigeon, dragged it into the living room, munched? on its neck and a great big squirt of blood came out of the pigeon and onto the um onto my rug um thought a pigeon had fatally injured itself by flying to your window pane the other month and you're dreading having to do that oh god dead by the time you saw that black sats good stuff go then bye fucko Kathy, doesn't the name Paymon ring a bell? <laughs> no, that's terrible. Uh, that was even worse. A is not fair because Kathy doesn't like horror games. Uh, horror in general. Whoops. Um. So, if you haven't seen the film Hereditary, is a very, very good horror movie. Um. But, like, very early on, there's a pigeon that flies into a window and, and kills itself. And it's it's kind of relevant-ish, to a degree. Um, but it, it's it's a bit cruel, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Aliens about your limits, right now. Honestly, Hereditary is very, very good. Um, as is Ari Aster's other film, Midsummer. Um, they are very, very good horror movies. But yeah, you know, if, if it's not your bag, then it's not your bag. Huh? Whoa! Hey, hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, my friend JJ. Um was way oh th this is going to be one of those little rocky puzzles huh uh... so my friend JJ earlier was um, 
trying to call me a man of culture for being like a proper Gen Xer. To which I said, oh yeah, I love Crowded House. Love Nirvana, Unplugged in New York. Like my horror movies with a hint of deconstructionism. And my racism and homophobia casual. Proper 90s kid. Oh no, I fucked it. I fucked it. I'm going to have to do it all over again. All the way to the end. Wait for it to stop. This is worse than ninja, wor ninja open worms. Wee. Wee. Oh yeah, I can run, can't I? Hey! Way. They don't build them like they used to. Thankfully. Another brush with death. Another step closer to mom. Oh yeah, that's it. We're trying to rescue our mother. Oh yeah, so you know I said in uh, Discord that uh, I bought a four pack of worms, one of the worms, the Clan Wars, that was it. Um, I was playing my copy, and so far there seems to be no controller support. And um, at least the build I've got in Linux crashes after the demo level, and you just end up in this loop of doing the demo level all the time. Well, no go map there. Well, if I miss stuff, I missed it. That way. If I miss stuff, I miss stuff. No going that way either. Whoa, look at that pipe. Look how much water's going through. The pipe's nearly halfway done. Jenny waded through the thick sludge. Hi, Art. How you doing? Each step bringing her closer to her mum and the truth. I hope the truth is less gross and stinky. We edit weapons to make the minigun take out literally the entire landscape. Oh, wow. I don't remember that Worms 2, but then it, I, I probably had Worms 2 for the PS1, so you couldn't... I don't think. Art is fully jammed! Jams, jams, jams! Uh, here we go, some more lockpicking, huh? change things no one around there wears masks why why are people still not wearing oh. oh yeah of course shadows and keep a safe distance. You want me to follow a deranged psycho killer through the haunted graveyard in complete darkness? Yes. You're a lot safer if you know where he is. That's a good point. Okay, Jenny. I'll do it for you. I know you'd do the same for me. Uh, would we, though? I can't believe I'm doing this. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. <clears throat> Yeah, I think if, uh... 
I think if anyone's performed uh, with the coronavirus worse than the UK government, it's definitely the Dutch government. This machine looks fun. This machine is really working overtime. Looks like it's ready to blow. All right, okay, nothing else to do with the machine. Just keep walking, huh? Keep walking. Okay, so we can't go that way, huh? This machine's got steamy bits. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, not that. No. No. That. 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 Hey! Hi. Fixed. Now I can hear myself think. It's just like Ghostbusters. Okay, sure. Fancy machine with things to pull. And now we've released all the ghosts in New York. Yes, hello. Hi, yes. Art's uh, username remind Kathy to do some art. Uh, yeah, maybe an art stream tomorrow, Kathy. Oh, it's quite fun. Um, not the overtax machine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you're in the mood. Uh, I've been trying to sketch some every day. How's it going that well? I've, uh, I've managed to commit to, uh, to my Welsh learning on Duolingo over the past couple of weeks. Let's see how long this keeps up. Uh, yeah, maybe at some point I'll be able to have conversations with my sister. By which point she'll be like, I speak Maori now. Um, on the plus side, you got your name on your Morgan Home Insurance update today. Ah, oh, amazing, Kathy. Amazing. Uh, friend runs a one hour a day month called Na Ah Mami. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's names. Weren't you doing the November writing one last year, Kathy? That's it. I seem to remember that. Uh, Art received a letter. Thought, thought was telling them they owed several hundred euros. So you're free now. Oh, good lord! But you get money back. Yes, much better. This contraption was curious and yet somehow familiar. Why does a town as small as Arthurton need such a powerful pumping machine? Uh, we can still operate it, huh? What else might we want to do with it? Buttons, buttons. That's it, Nano Remo. So now we've stopped pumping stuff. Is there still that great big half pipe of water coming out? <laughs> yes, there is. Do we need to operate the machine again? I am not a scratching post, dickhead. Is my sister? I, I'm not sure if my sister's actually in marriage. She must be learning some. It, it's the sort of thing she'd do. I mean.
Like, if she moved to Ireland, she would probably learn, like, you know, Irish Gaelic. And probably, you know, pick it up like that, because obviously it's Celtic language. Um, did I see a tweet or something the other day that she was, like, learning some Maori? I don't know. Anyway. Fact is, of course, is that she is the only member of our family to be a fully Welsh speaker. Um, she she got some work for BBC Radio Wales when she was like eighteen. Um, they did at, like at the launch of Radio Five back in uh, this would yeah this would have been nineteen ninety. Um, uh, Radio Wales did like this magazine youth magazine show on a Friday night and she like uh, produced some bits did our parents not emphasize the Welsh it was not available in schools I mean it was available in schools there are Welsh language schools um, in Swansea um, same repression as there was for Scots Gaelic well there was a get off there was, like, uh, quite a bit of repression of the Welsh language. Uh, there's something called the Welsh Knot, uh, which uh, I, I, I hear, like, little bits of mixed stories, but essentially uh, that in the late 19th century, early 20th century, um, yeah, there, there was this sort of, like, effort to really purge Welsh, the Welsh language out. Uh, and things like the Welsh knot were used as a uh, punishment uh, if allegedly if kids were caught um, speaking Welsh in schools so there was like uh, there was like a repression of the language certainly because of the English um, but uh, but also you know there were like a lot of communities a lot of communities kept it and has been a really strong a really strong Welsh language movement for as long as I for you know since at least the 70s if not like the 60s uh, so yeah English people get mad about signs having Welsh and then they go to Wales yeah we've got bilingual road signs uh, DVLA do everything bilingually so you know when you get your uh, when you get your car logbook um, you know, to, to show that you're the keeper of a car. In England, it's this one long sheet like that. In Wales, it's double because there's one in Welsh as well. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, really, really strong Welsh language culture. But my parents never spoke Welsh. Uh, Swansea is a port town, so that doesn't have the biggest Welsh language community. You know, you go out, you go up the valleys or you go... Uh, west of Gorsinan, you will get uh, Welsh-speaking communities, but Swansea, being quite a big port town and, and city, doesn't really have that much of a, a sort of uh, Welsh-speaking community, a, a strong Welsh-speaking culture throughout the town. Not to say there aren't communities there, but uh, throughout the town itself, uh, it's not there. So my mother's father is Canadian, or was, he's passed away last year, um, uh, was Canadian-ish. <laughs> um, not, he's from Newfoundland, so it wasn't part of Canada when he left. Uh, so yeah, so, um, so my, my mother's father didn't speak Welsh. My father's, uh, Glaswegian, uh, so obviously he didn't speak Welsh. Uh, he can read well, oh, uh, again, until the stroke. Uh, but he can read Welsh phonetically, um, and he sounds drunk when he does it. <laughs> um, yes, hello. So yeah, the, the f as a family, we've never been Welsh speakers. My sister gets this job in Radio Wales, rewinding back to my sister. She gets this job in Radio Wales uh, back in 1990, um, uh, like I say, d producing these pieces. She's producing these pieces in English because it's for national, it's for Radio 5, national radio station, uh, UK national radio station. Um, and she uh, she produces people, but what she she's there and she's working with people, and she notices that everyone in BBC is speaking Welsh, 
and she thinks that basically, you know, in some places it's the old school tie or the funny handshake. In BBC Wales, Shadow Come Like, speaking Welsh. That's that's how you're going to get on. So she goes and does night classes of speaking Welsh, and she throws herself into it, 100% full pelt. Like she goes, um, there's a difference between um, uh, North Wales and South Wales, for example. There's a lot of different words. Uh, oftentimes, North Wales will still use more formal pronunciations, such as Rutherween as opposed to Dween. Um, my sister secretly preferred learning North Wales Welsh. <laughs> um, then, when she goes to university, she was in Cardiff for a year doing a journalism degree, but she dropped out of that, and then she went to Bangor in North Wales and did her communications degree taught in Welsh. Um, having only, like, you know, learnt it really for the past few years. But she, she really got into it. She was watching... Um, you know, watching the Welsh language, getting into all the Welsh language pop music. I, you know, I've, I've been listening to like Welsh language pop bands, not really knowing what's going on, just like really digging the music and stuff. Um, so yeah, she really went into it. I'd like even got on like national television. God, I can't remember the name of the show, but there was like this TV show that used to be on with Trev and Simon. Well, I'll date it. Um, like going around different parts of the UK and she just did this bit talking about pop music uh, and and a record store in the market in Swansea which I don't think is there anymore um but she did the entire thing in Welsh with subtitles on like again national television <laughs> um uh somehow yeah she learned Welsh and she managed to get a few media gigs um then she became an accountant and moved to New Zealand <laughs> uh, and yeah, she's been living in New Zealand now for 10 years, maybe? About 10 years? Yeah, it's about 10 years since they moved there. Um, naturalised citizen and everything, so yeah, it doesn't surprise me actually, she is learning to marry. That's the story of my sister speaking Welsh. Meanwhile, I oh, know, also, yeah, she gets to go to concerts and admittedly all she gets to see is crowded house um, but she gets to go out and occasionally do things because they've got a fucking sensible government uh anyway that's new that's my sister moving to new zealand see me learning welsh primary school we didn't do that much uh there was a song that we learned and performed once where the chorus was basically You know that village in North Wales that's the longest place name ever. That Um just called Slamvai PG. Um uh, and then when I got to secondary school, um three years of Welsh with the same Welsh teacher, Endaf. And he just taught us the same things all the time. So the only things I really took back from it was like uh, Ralph Dewey. Oh shit, just gave me my government name. DJ Dewey, Dream Bew, and Bristol. Uh, so I can, like tell you where I live and my name, and that's about it. Didn't even learn that the Welsh for ironing as in ironing your clothes, is smoothio. Learned that in the past week in Duolingo. New Zealand's on your, hmm, that's the thing you could potentially try list, Kathy. Oh, yeah, I should, ten years, I should go and visit them at some point. That's just a long-ass fucking trip. Uh, Art's friend went to New Zealand trip, so it was amazing. Smoothie or sounds like a poppy pig. Well, this is the thing: is that Welsh, the Welsh language, the like 20th century Welsh language, has been mostly like, oh, well, let's just take, uh, let's just take the words and spell them in Welsh. 
So smoothio is actually uh, that. Because the W is more is uh, is a ooey sound, um, and the v v from the double D smoothio. Um, my, you know, there's other ones like taxi, T A C S I, taxi, ambulance, A M B I W L A N S, ambulance. Um, and my favourite of all, uh, the Welsh, the Welsh language channel. So while while you kids in the 80s and 90s were watching Groovy Channel 4, hello. Um, yeah, while you kids in the 80s and 90s were watching Groovy Channel 4, we didn't have Channel 4. We had S4C, which was the Welsh Channel 4. S Pedwa Ek. Um, and they would often show things after Channel 4 did. So, like, Channel 4 would show a controversial movie, like Last Tango in Paris, and they'd be like, oh, it's controversial, we might we might get banned, oh, they might shut down the channel, and all this nonsense. And S4C wouldn't show it until a week later. The fun part of living in Swansea was, if you point your aerial in the right direction, you could actually pick up from the Mendips. Um, and you could get channel 4 and s will see so i could watch things on channel 4 and then a week later watch them on s will see uh sot and tv listings guide was always a bunch of asterisks nope no good stuff here well the fun part about s will see is uh with the cut of the digital television channel 4 is now carried in wales so s will see s will see would be like sort of like okay Here's like Welsh language breakfast television and Welsh language educational television and the Welsh language lunchtime. But now let's simulcast with Channel 4 for Countdown and Brookside and the racing. But now let's come back to S4C for the news and the evening things. And then let's maybe, you know, sometimes they're simulcasting what Channel 4 are. Sometimes they're doing it on a different day. Uh, well, no, what it was in, there was never Welsh countdown there was English countdown um, so uh, so yeah like in the afternoon you'd have like English countdown and Brookside the same days you know they were in channel 4 and stuff but now you get channel 4 uh, all the time um, on digital because we got the channels for it in digital television and S4C is now a fully Welsh language channel but it's now S4C Diggy Doll You can definitely get Welsh Scrabble, uh, which obviously has the extra letters and, oh, hello. This'll be why we had to uh, do the thing, huh? Whoops. Oh, hello. Hidden thing? It's another radio transmitter. And maybe another... Come on, it's gotta be in the... Oh, there it is. There's another scrap of thing. It's clearly a Zaza technology. Are you talking, Jenny? Part of another Zaza sphere? What happened to Jenny's voice? Why did she not talk? Torrents of water poured from the open sewer. To attempt to cross it would be suicide. Somewhere in the distance, Jenny could hear a voice. So familiar, she'd recognize it from a mile away. Mom! I finally found you! Hey, hey! Of course, that's what we've been after for ages, right? Inside the dingy jail cell, Jenny's mother contemplated her predicament, lamenting how little time she had left to make things right. Angry. 
defeated alone. Well, almost alone. I will not stand for this! <laughs> CJ! This is a violation of my human rights! Quiet down in there! It's almost 4 a.m. for Pete's sake! 4 a.m. Time was almost up. I will not quiet down, not until my voice has been heard! I'm not gonna keep coming over here. What is it this time? I was promised two cookies with my hot chocolate, <laughs> and I only got one. What kind of ramshackle operation are you running here? This is not a hotel, CJ. If this is how you treat all your guests, I'm surprised you have any customers at all. The sheriff said you are free to go, just as soon as you stop yelling and throwing stuff around. Now please, I'm trying to finish the crossword. That's right, run away. Service here has really gone downhill. CJ, did he just say you're free to go? Yes, but I'm holding out for breakfast. <laughs> the bacon is exquisite. <laughs> I can't believe it's come to this. CJ, I need you to listen to me very carefully. It's a matter of life and death. Well, he does sound an awful lot like Christopher Lloyd, right? I can't understand what they're saying. Jenny was so close she could smell it. And boy, does it stink. But to even attempt to free her mom, she would need to find a way across the chasm. There must be something around here I can use to get across. I'm on my way, Mom. Yes, this is where... Oh, hello. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Do you want me... F what? Listen. Oh. An old pipe hung precariously above Jenny's head. I'm going to take a closer look. Get you from chasm, certain death. The gap is too wide to jump across. Old broken pipe, poorly connected, weak point. The pipe is cracked and patched together at both ends. According to my calculations, that pipe is just wide enough to bridge the gap. Rescue mom, get coffee. You'll probably need it. It's 4 a.m. How can I knock it down? There's no way to climb up there. And there's nothing around here to throw at it. She only had one option. The explosives. But she couldn't use them here. She needed the explosives to free her mother. I can't break into the jail if I can't even reach the jail. Oh, Look hello. Mess. A few instructions wouldn't have hurt, Susie. Oh well, I'll work it out. Another one of these puzzles, huh? Hey, there we go. That's it. Jenny hesitated. Once the timer was started, there'd be no turning back. What if she missed the target? What if the explosives didn't work? Think positively, Jenny. She'd be stuck, and it would have all been for nothing. Focus, Jenny. You can do this. Yes, you can do it, Jenny. That doesn't sound good. I better hurry. But that pipe sure was loud. The plan had worked, but without the explosives, breaking into the jail was practically impossible. And with the man in black approaching, time was running out. I thought we were going to do something with the steam. Oh well.
because it look <laughs> looks like there's some sort of pipe puzzle, right? Oh, crit crap. Break your back. I mean, it won't be a teenage girl detective without a pipe puzzle, right? Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes. Your secret will die with me. Is that CJ? What did he do this time? This isn't about keeping a secret, CJ. It's about you following my plan. Precisely. Yes, of course. Would you pass me a roll of toilet paper? I think I can hit that guard from here. Don't get sidetracked. There's no time. No time? For what? Focus, CJ. This is serious. You have to use the whole thing or it won't work. Do you understand? I'm only trying to scare the man, not take his head off. CJ, where are the gloves? Don't forget. Shh! Did you hear that? Somebody's listening. <laughs> CJ, it's me! Ah, they found me! <laughs> down here how in heaven's name did you get down there did you hear it too the sewer grate is talking no you do not want to rely on cj for anything no cj it's me jenny leclue nonsense i know jenny personally she looks nothing like a sewer grate <laughs> i'm underneath the floor you doof the dogs bark loudest before the dawn hey that's my line <clears throat> the dogs bark loudest before the dawn <coughs> Um, oh, what was it? Horse, I think we did. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it cook a five-course meal. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's not the ones I the used. The dogs bark loudest before the dawn. I used bird. Okay. The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. The wind blows strongly from the east. I think I did glass houses for that one. People in glass houses should invest in curtains. The evening sky is full of fireflies. But the last donut is the tastiest. Jenny, it is you. What are you doing down there? Keep forgetting what I did because it's what you do the very first time. You have to repeat every time. So much has happened, but there's no time to explain. I'm here to rescue mom. Don't be ridiculous. You are going home this instant. You don't understand, mom. Someone's coming to kill you. What? Who? A man dressed in black, carrying a blue umbrella and a briefcase. A shadow man? That's serious. He was in our house, looking for something. And now he's on his way here, to kill you. But I won't let him. I'm breaking you out. Or was she? Shut up, Steel Arthur. bars and a foot of concrete separated Jenny from her mother. Without Susie's explosives, how could she possibly hope to stage a breakout? And how exactly were you planning on breaking into the jail? I... I'm still working on that part, but one way or another, I'm busting you out. Oh no, you're not, young lady. Not alone. Remember, Jenny, a great detective knows when to accept help. Now, have a look around and tell me what you find down there. Yes. Case of the jailbreak. All right, we're looking for clues. That pipe runs directly into the prison cell. It must be connected to something inside. It's a valve. It controls the direction and flow of water through the pipes. Oh. We have definitely got a pipe puzzle coming up, folks. Fine, another gallery item. Another valve. They provide very precise control of the water flow. Oh. Postcard. Mm. 
We are doing a pipe puzzle. Why does Arthurton need such a complex system of pipes and valves? Oh. Way we got a toilet sticker. Death saunas need power. Damn right. Death sauna. Death sauna. Why does Arthurton need such a complex system of pipes and valves? Why does Arthurton need such a complex system of pipes and valves? Oh. I think the machine's going to be the last thing. Let's have a wander around. You never know when there's a gallery item you might find. Click. Why does Arthurton need such a complex system of pipes and valves? We can't think of anything else to write. Oh, we've lost the sprite. Oh, hello. How did I end up behind things? That doesn't work. <laughs> We glitched out there for this a second. This machine is identical to the last. It's very high tech for Arthurton. I think it pumps water or sewage through all these pipes. Why are there so many? Our town's not that big. There's nothing else down here except for the pungent soup of Arthurton's collective bowel movement. I should go back and talk to Mom. As a detective, we often have to blend into the background. The background, though, is mostly shit. Hold on a second. I just want to do... Uh... Oh, I was... He had a smug face on. And I thought, oh, let, let's get him to do smug face. Oh, look at the little baby. He's doing smug face. Look at that smug face. Such a smug loaf. Hello, kitty loaf. Also, spot all my problematic stuff on the shelves, like the keep calm and bin it bin, which uh, someone bought for me. Um, uh, my Scott Adams book from before Scott Adams was problematic. The Pearl book. There's two Pearl books there, and sequel for dummies. Sequel in ten minutes. Um, somewhere kicking about is a PHP Bible and a JavaScript Bible from like 2002 or whatever. What else is on there? What else is on my bookcase there? JPod is fucking terrible. Um, there's Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers and Starship Titanic. Um... Some of those I've definitely like. You work with a guy who created PHP. Wow, that is um, that's a bit of a claim to fame. There. What else have we got? Um, oh, we got Generation X. Um, we got Harry Hill's book and the Fellowship of the Ring, which, as you can see, I barely got through because I find it boring as fuck. Uh, overcoming social anxiety and shyness. Uh, yeah, that didn't work, did it? Um, oh yes, and the Ladybug Book of the Hipster. But mainly, we just want the point of that smug loaf, really. How much you've programmed books since the mid-2000s? Exactly, when everything you need is online. Pretty horrible <laughs> privacy. <laughs> There are pipes everywhere. 
connected by lots of valves. Some kind of sewage pumping machine? And a whole bunch of dead rats. What can you see up there? Everything Jenny knew about being a great detective, she'd learned from her mother. Even with so much at stake, Jenny couldn't help but feel a rush of excitement. She was finally working alongside her mum on a real case. Uh, okay, what's her mum got? Drain cover. Securely welded in place. Would require a small explosion to displace. Yeah, well, chap. Cell door. Reinforced steel frame and bars. Wide enough to fit a hand through, but lock is unreachable. Blow up the toilet. 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 Poorly installed. Possibly never cleaned, with a large crack in the floor around the base. Uh -huh. Oh god, now we got our mother finding gallery art for us. CJ, looking very anxious. Possibly has lice. <laughs> Ew. Dead rat. In the process of decomposition. Cause of death? Poison. A metal bed with pillow and sheets. Extremely uncomfortable. That's everything of interest here. I got this picture of two monkeys holding hands. That's cute, CJ. I think they're planning something. Of course, CJ. That's it! I got it! I knew it was important! I know exactly how to get you out of there. Attempting a breakout without the explosives seemed futile. But Jenny had spotted something else useful. How can I break Mom out of jail? The floor's cracked in the toilet and jail cell. The machine pumps water through pipes and valves can redirect the flow. Oh, we block it up with the pillow. Yeah, <laughs> not different from any other time we've seen CJ. We use the pillow to block up the toilet and then redirect all the stuff until the toilet cracks the floor. Weak point. Pressure. Boop, boop, boop. The pipe leading to the jail is a weak point. And the floor around the toilet is cracked and damaged. By redirecting the flow of water and turning on the pumping machine, we can create an explosion of our own. We need to create enough pressure to blow up that toilet. Yes, of course. Great thinking, Jenny. I'll turn on the machine and use the valves to redirect the water. I'll use the pillow to block the toilet and sustain the pressure. And I'll distract the guard. Okay, we're on the case. Go team! All right, number one. Probably gonna start using the machine, huh? Of course, this one's a different. Maybe we should work backwards here. Right. I'm hoping that the colours mean, yeah, that that those are the ways that things are connected. So looking at the top one. All right, we're gonna go. It's connected up there. Oh. And I think if we... Because the bottom one then goes down and up and down and over to the... Front there. Currently in the top left of our screen. And it's coming and... Oh, and it goes down there. Maybe that's not where we want to send it then. 
All right, where else can it go? Mind you, there's always, we could always work the other way. So presumably this year... Gives us a nice visual sign as to what's going on. That's better. All the characters are voiced around like Malcolm McDowell. I mean, maybe they did get an all-star cast for this. Because CJ really does sound like Christopher Lloyd, right? There's definitely a note for a voice Less actor. Less explosively took it, huh? than I imagined. What happened? Nothing happened. We need more pressure. More pressure. How can I get more pressure into the pipe? How can we get more pressure into the pipe? Get more steam and stuff from the other machine? So there's there's it going there and then it goes across to that thing that one's coming up and that's coming up and that's coming down oh yeah then it comes out of there and then that's where it's come from that's where it comes from to and I don't even think that says so, but we're not the only people to have noticed it for sure. Yeah. Right. Click. Crack. How can we get more pressure? We... Can't operate the valves to turn them different places, can we? Can't use the machine. But we have this valve. And this machine. This is it. Brace yourselves for impact.
was that? Oh. CJ? Sorry, man. My bad. Had a slice of burrito last night. <laughs> you might want to give it a minute. Quit making a ruckus. This is your last warning. He fell for it. <laughs> well done, CJ. <laughs> no, CJ, not DJ. DJ Dewey. CJ Achi. Yeah, I'm, I remember some Welsh. again I have so much to tell you don't say another word well it's your basement potential can play sense D's and rock fish robot cross slate skin pale than usual red clay under nails I see you've been busy dad wasn't working for the university his accident was a cover-up for something much bigger Jenny and it's not the first time it's happened there's an organization running secret operations all over town. Jenny. And Dean Strasbury was working for them, too. Stop. You already know, don't you? Because you were working for them. So you knew he was still alive and you didn't tell me? What? Who's still alive? Dad survived the explosion. He's alive. 